Hey guys, welcome to the flag um, cross workshop. So, um, let's show you guys here. This one is really honestly not that terrible. There's not a lot of steps to it, um, but there is a couple things you're gonna need extra. Um, you are gonna need some good wood glue is what I would suggest. Um, you can pick this up pretty inexpensively. Um, any hardware store, Walmart, anywhere like that is gonna have wood glue. Um, I always use Gorilla Wood Glue, but it doesn't matter what, just grab some because you are going to want to use that to um, hold your pieces together. And I just say wood glue just because that's what it's made for. And since this is going to be hanging up um, and your pieces need to stay connected, that's just really what I would um, I would suggest that you be using. So what you have is all your, your pieces. Um, yours are unpainted. You have your stars that are unpainted. And then you're going to have all of your paint included in your kit. Um, if you look on the back of yours, which you're not going to see on these because these are painted, I'm going to actually write on the back of each of them in pencil what color it should be um, just so that it makes that a little bit easier for you. And then you're also going to have drawn on here um, where the line is. Um, that's just the line that's going to be between um, your different colors. Um, the thin blue line one is going to be a little bit different. Um, these pieces are actually going to be smaller on the thin blue line one. Um, that's simply because of the blue line and the other two colors um, just to make it look at e make it look even. Um, we made this pieces a little bit smaller. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go through and you're going to paint all of your pieces front and back. Um, there's enough paint in your kit for you to do a couple coats. So do it to your liking too once you get to the point that um, you are content and you like the way that it looks. Once that is done, everything is dry, then you're going to go ahead and glue your pieces together. Um, so this is a pretty self-explanatory um, process. So you'll just want to make sure, um, like on this one with the, the American flag one, that you just line up your blue one with the edge of your other blue. Um, because when you put your stars on, this is actually going to be where um, the stars go. So you want to make sure that it all lines up. And then what you're going to go ahead and do next is just keep putting your pieces together here. Nothing too complicated about it, guys. It's gonna line up pretty good. There we go. I kind of see all those pieces are together, and just make sure you're doing them. Um, color coordinated, so red, white, red, white. And then you can go ahead and put your stars on. So you're gonna have three different stars. Um, I'm not gonna take a ton of glue. Move that over so you guys can see it. And then your stars are gonna go ahead and go up here. And then you want to look at um, whatever glue that you buy and just read the back. It's going to tell you um, how long to let it sit um, before it's ready to go. It should be within a few hours. It should be able to be picked up. Um, but to be fully hung up, you want to make sure that you um, take a look at those directions. And then you do have a hook that comes in your kit. Um, it will go on the back. You'll want to do that very last. Um, you will need a screwdriver for that, um, so that's something else that you're going to need additional. Um, but that should be something that's pretty easy to find, then you'll just screw your hook in. Uh, if you don't want the hook on the back, if you don't plan on hanging it on the wall, then you don't need to put it in. Um, that's just there in case you're hanging it. So then once it's done, make sure that you take a picture of it wherever you have it and um, share that photo with me um, so we can all see your finished product.